Now that we have configured the relationships between entities, we have added the AppDB context file and also configured the SQL server by creating a database and also adding the database tables using the migrations. It is time to add some default data. So basically seeding the data with some test data. So for that, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio, I'm going to create a new file and this file is going to take as a parameter the iApplication Builder interface. And then within this file, we are going to write all the code. Since this is a file related to data, we are going to add that file inside the data folder. So add a new class. And then I'm going to name this class app db initializer. And then click add. Let us add now inside here a static class, so public static void. And I'm going to name this method seed. The interface we said is going to be application builder. And then application builder. Now let us import the namespace for the i application builder. And now inside here, we are going to create an application services scope. So for that, using and then var service scope is equal to, this is going to be application builder dot application services dot create scope. Let us import the namespace and the namespace is going to be the Microsoft dot extensions dot dependency injection. And then inside here, now we are going to create a reference to the AppDB context file because that is the file that we use to send data to the database or get data from the database. For that, I'll just type in here var context is equal to, that is going to be the service scope dot service provider dot get service and then pass as a parameter the AppDB context. Now, before we add any data in here, we need to make sure that the database is created and it exists. So for that, I'll just type in your context dot database dot ensure created. And then down here, we are going to add all the data. So we need to add, let's say the cinema. We need to add the actors. We need to add the producers. We're going to add the movies. And then we are going to add the relationships between the actors and the movies. So let us start with the cinema. The idea is that if there are no cinemas in the database, so if the context dot cinemas dot any, so if there are not any cinemas in the database, you need to add some cinemas. Let us copy these lines. And then do the same for the actors. So if there are no actors, then for the producers. So if there aren't any producers, then for the movies, so movies, and the last one, the actors, movies. Now here I'm going to paste some code, and you can find the same code in the GitHub repository. So I'm basically first creating the cinemas. For that, I'm just using the context.cinemas.add range and then pass as a parameter a list of cinemas. So then import the model and the error is gone. And after you add all the cinemas, in here you have the context.save changes. Now, if you want, you can add everything to the cinemas, to the actors, and then have a single context.save changes. But I'm just doing this way just to show you that it's possible to do it this way too. So if you open this one, you'll see that for the cinemas, the logo is .net how .net, then slash images slash cinemas, then slash cinema one, two, five. Now I'll do the same for the actors. So I've added in here five actors and you can find some images at .net how .net slash images slash actors and then actor dash one to five. Now let us add some producers. 
and then add some movies. In the movies, we see that we are missing the movie category cartoon. So I'll just go and add this category. I'll just paste it in here. And also the horror category. So I'll just add that one as well. So after cartoon, we have horror. And then that's it. So let us save all the changes. I'll close the movie category. And the last part that we need to add is the actors underscore movies. So I'm just going to add some actors underscore movie relations. So what this means, for example, if I scroll up in here, I can see that for the movie three, I have the actor one, the actor two, and the actor five. Let's scroll down in here because we get an error and it looks like we have some extra brackets. So I'll just remove this one, then control KD to restructure the code. And this is all you need to have in the app DB initializer. Now let us just go to the solution explorer and then you go to the startup.cs. And now we need to call the seed method inside here. So when the app starts, if there are no data in the database, the data will be added. So let us scroll down in here to the configure method. And then at the end, after the use endpoints, just type in your seed database. And then I'll use the app db initializer dot seed method. And this method takes as a parameter the app, which is the i application builder. Let us add the semicolon, save the changes. And then before you run the application, if you want, you can just add a breakpoint in here and then run the application. So the app ran successfully. We reached the breakpoint in the seed method. And then here you can either press the F10 or you can just click the button in here, the step over. Now the context reference will be created. Then the database will be created if it does not exist. If no cinemas exist, then some cinemas will be added to the context.cinemas. And then the changes will be saved in the database. Then I'll just click continue. So the app ran successfully and this is the default app. Here you have just this home controller and the privacy section. I'll just close the browser and then go to the server explorer. In here, I'll just check, for example, for this table, the producers, shop table data. And now you can see that we have five producers. And if you go to the movies, shop table data, you have five movies in here as well. And if you go to the joining table, the actors underscore movies and then show table data, you also have the relations stored in here and you just have the movie ID and the actor ID. So for example, the movie with the ID six was played by the actor with the ID three, four, and five.